synonymous with producing uh, quality beer. They've been producing beer for many generations in the same site in West London. Um, we're now looking to expand into India, which is a very, very exciting market where you've got a, a sort of population, young population who's, who's well educated, wants to try different styles of food and beer. And, and we're convinced that we can find a nice little niche here and um, the uh, Indian consumer will really enjoy beers like London Pride, which will be iconic with drinking a good quality beer. I've been exporting beer for 30 years and I've seen the sort of beer market chain. Maybe 20 years ago you wouldn't have thought about exporting beer to India, but in the last 10 years it's suddenly got interesting. I think here with a young beer culture, some well-educated people etc, who want to try different styles of beer, they've had their local lagers, they want to try other styles of beer, whether it's a German Weiss beer, a Belgian Trappist ale, a Czech Pilsner, but also an English ale. And we feel that at Fuller's we are we're the best examples of the English ale style. So that's the inspiration about coming to India because the potential here in long term is very good. It'll take time, but it's very good. And obviously India being one of the superpowers of Asia, it's a logical place to come to. We're launching five beers. Our flagship beer is a beer called London Pride, which is very famous. It's one of the biggest selling beers, certainly in UK and London itself. It's got a great name, London. London's a world capital city, and that's a big draw. People see London, that's a draw straight away. And many Indians travel to London, whether on business or tourism. That's the potential there. We also sell London Pride over 80 countries around the world. So it's very sold actually in a lot of countries. London Pride is almost a perfect example of an English ale, or sort of pale ale. And the beer we're selling is sort of 4.7, so it's quite drinkable. It looks a dark brown, but actually it's got a great taste and a great flavour. And we feel that would probably be the number one brand in India in time. Here's, we, we've got a beer called Fuller's Organic Honey Dew, which is um, actually quite a light colour. It's almost like a lager, but it's actually got honey in it and it's organic. And we find in many countries it actually works very well. It's got a slightly sweet taste, but not, not very sweet. And it's very popular, we find also with females as well as males, because it's nice in you know, honey dew, it's a nice taste, it's lighter. And we feel that might well do, and that's sort of 5% alcohol volume, and produced 100% with organic materials, whether it's hops, malt, you know, honey, etc. It's all organic. So that can also add to the organic community as well, to drink a, a good beer as well. You know, in London itself, export here is much better than producing a lo locally. The fact it's brewed in London, only one recipe, one location. And I think Indian consumers will warm to that. In fact, it's actually an imported bit. It's what imported. It's not brewed down the road at the brewery. It's actually imported. You know, they'll pay more rupees to drink a good beer. You know, it's about quality, not quantity. So we've got to highlight that. Actually, we're the best example of British beer style in India. Doing sort of tasting events, etc., getting people to try the beer. We feel that's the right route to market. And if it takes time, it takes time. We're not interested in huge business from day one because we're not that sort of player. We're actually very much small, independent craft. We compete with them. We want to be different from them. We're actually an imported beer yeah. from the United Kingdom. And we're the best example. So if there's any other British beers coming out here, we feel that Fulus is the best example of the British beers. We're selling ales, we're not competing with an Indian craft IPA or something, we're, we're different altogether. Indian foods, you know, very popular in the United Kingdom. Number one is a chicken tikka masala. <laughs> the most important criteria is probably the yeast, because the yeast strain that we use, we've been using for over 100 years, and it gets recycled music, and that gives the beer its authentic flavour. And we're not just about one beer, we've got a whole range of different beers. And even now we're launching four or five in India. We might try a few more uh, later this year to see which ones work. And I, I find in some countries that actually we have another beer called London Porter. And that works very well in South America because they like that style of beer. So, so and it's not about forcing a beer, it's really finding out what the consumer wants and then adapting that to suit the market. You know, I, I like all my beers. The Indian consumer I see is getting more educated in their beer and uh, they should certainly look at trying the Fuller's beers because the reputation's there, we've been producing beer of high quality for you know well over 100 years and we're still, we're still around now, still brewing beer at the same location so there's obviously something good about our beers and we, we make sure that our brewers produce high quality beer with the best ingredients and we're, we're, we're sure that you know when consumers try the beer the majority of them will like it and it, it's up there as one of the best beer styles available, English ales, and within that, Fuller's is the best example. So I'm very sure that in time we'll have a nice little niche in the market here with consumers drinking our beers.